Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for instead 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 3rd of April and we'll be able to extend that beyond that. We extend the GFS and each of them on Sobbles. Make runs around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the second half of April and I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video of the day was a 6M UK weather forecast. Please like, share and subscribe on both of today. Vids, thank you so much for doing that. The gals from Weather Vids, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Love there. <laughs> so sorry, everyone. Thank you so much. Right, let's crack on with the video. I hope you're having a lovely Monday. Right, so I'm going to start off with the latest with the map from EarthNoSchool.net. We've got a nice ridge here building up from the Azores into West Europe. Lab pressure is away to the north along with the jet stream. Oh, there. So, we're going to have quite a bit of dry weather over the next few days down in the south in particular. The north will be a little bit more unsettled, played by those winds coming in from off the Atlantic. But at the end of the week, we're going to find lower pressure heading in from Iceland and Greenland. And that will start to bring more in the way of unsettled conditions with it, with but spells of rain. And uh, temperatures will turn cooler, actually, at the end of the week. And into the weekend. But before then, two or three days of uh, nice, mild and dry weather. In the main. Uh, Central in temperature is currently sitting at 7.4. That's 1.8 degree above 61 to 1990 average. It's provisional to yesterday to the 23rd of March. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're looking at Kingston upon hold today. The suggested location of this part of the video. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature for Kingston upon hold. We're starting off milder than average with above average temperatures at the moment. They're going to be coming down though as we go in towards the uh, weekend. Then lifting back up again into the opening days of April. We'll poss possibly moving back downwards again uh, for the first week of April. There is a lot of scatter uh, within that, it has to be said. So uh, this part and just here, I'm quite confident about that. But from about, I don't know, the 1st of April onwards, a uh, fair amount of scatter, generally mild ensemble up here, but later on, increasing the number of cold ensemble members. So uh, through the first week of April, still quite a bit of uncertainty. Precipitation wise, lots of dry weather to come really over next week. And even into the extent, there's not that many, many precipitation spikes. So, this is a drier a spell through this spring continues. Temperature normally sets five days at 29th of March, coming out above average in most parts of the country. The six to ten day temperature anomaly up to the third of April is also above average. And what about 10 to 14 day temperature, temperature anomaly? Well, then that starts to come down and goes a little bit cooler. Precipitation anomalies for the next seven days up to the 31st of March, coming out drier than normal in most areas and the 8 to 14 day precipitation anomaly up to 7th of april looking pretty dry as well okay <laughs> let's start going with chart data this is south lake uk met euro run looking big night on Thursday. high pressure south low pressure north bringing him a win from off the atlantic low pressure deepening to the northwest scotland thursday to friday could bring some wet and windy weather across the country followed by uh cooler winds from the northwest and then we head on into next weekend again we're looking quite unsettled low pressure north higher pressure down to south and winds coming in from a flat westerly direction pretty zonal with the uk met up to the beginning of next week i can't again with high pressure south low pressure north type scenario scenario i don't know <laughs> uh it's a good word isn't it scenario um i don't know i'm being very silly uh so anyway uh high pressure south low pressure to the north what's he on about what's he doing um on thursday friday turns a bit wet and windy with that area of low pressure and eventually cooler winds to the northwest well could turn showers wintry up in the north into the weekend actually we'll switch the wind room into a northerly pair as we go through next weekend. So, a bit of a cold snap with Icon. UK Met doesn't have that uh, next weekend. And then we end up with high pressure building back up from the south and we draw up some milder air from the uh, west and from the southwest again by the last day of March. KMA looks like this. So, once again, that low pressure driving in through uh, Thursday into Friday. A little bit of a cold snap, maybe, particularly for the north over the weekend, but not as much as Icon is making of that. 
Um, then high pressure building strongly, though, uh, through next week. So you get a big build of high pressure. And check this out. It's moving Scandinavia as well. Winds are turning into a cooler or even a colder easterly. Um, that looks properly blocked, doesn't it? High pressure between Scotland and Iceland there. Through the first week of April. And a proper old easterly as well. Maybe it's quite a chill to that easterly, uh, I think. Let's have a look at the upper air temperatures uh, with that. So, um, on the 30th of March, relatively mild upper air temperatures. Remember, high pressure builds in. And then in comes that easterly, bringing the minus 5 Celsius ice firm in from the east. So, I mean, it's not like if that was happening in January. It's April, so it's going to be modified. But overall, that does look like quite a calm uh, easterly bear that we're seeing uh, with the uh, KMA today. Is that a chopper stroke response to the strap one? Possibly, but then again, April is a month that tends to have high pressure at Scandinavia and easterly winds a lot of the time as well. So it's impossible to say one way or other, really, whether that is a chopper stroke response to the strap one. If the high was going to retrograde and to end up over Greenland and Iceland, then that, I think, would be a more definite indication of a, a tropospheric response and if we pull down like a northerly then uh, that would be a more um a more a more definite sign of a tropospheric response but as it is east is in april are pretty common so it's hard to say right let's go to a gfs let's have a gfs midnight running so again thursday high pressure south low pressure north at midnight low pressure coming in from the atlantic thursday friday bringing cloud and outbreaks of rain and then into the weekend we find high pressure building up for the south bringing quite a lot of dry weather with it for the course of uh, next week that high pressure going to scandinavia similar to what the kma is showing starting to bring the wind around during easterly so as we get to daytime we are actually putting in quite a chilly east to north easterly wind because it could be cold up a touch of uh, frost and wintry showers maybe around eastern coast high pressure trying to retrogress as well <laughs> Trying to retrogress towards uh, Iceland there by the 4th of April. So next week looking quite cold, I have to say, with a GFS, um, uh, with a GFS uh, midnight run. But in the end, we just keep the high pressure sort of stick, uh, stuck sitting over the country all the way up to uh, the 8th of April. So it will be a lot of dry weather with that. And maybe some quite uh, cold nights will come through as well. But by day, not overly cold. But GFS 6 there by comparison. Again, looks rather uh, unsettled from Thursday's break. Could be some rain even down in the south then. Um, then we're going to the weekend with high pressure south, low pressure to the north. Before early next week, we find high pressure building through the west of Europe and heading up towards Scandinavia as well. So that's another GFS run, a run along with the KMA. That for next week starts to bring in the wind from the colder east or northeast direction. Again, we're not talking about beach from the east here, not by any means, but certainly a chill to those easterly winds uh, would be uh, felt there, I think. And again, a bit of a hint of retrogression of the high pressure when we get to the end of next week. Uh, the high pressure sort of moves from Scandinavia to sit over top of UK Island. And then check this out right at the very end of GFS 6 z the high pressure goes into proper retrograde. Pushes up towards Greenland and Iceland. A trough sinks southwards through Scandinavia and Northern Europe. And we start to bring in uh, a northerly wind. So that would be more indicative of a possible trouble threat response to the SSW. Check out the upper air temperature there <laughs> of a GFS 6 there for uh, the 9th of April. That's 384 hours away, so a very, very long way out. But the mine 10 cells ice berm is plunging southwards through the country. That would be very impressive. Uh, uh, depths and cold for uh, the 9th of April. And I suspect will not be verified. Actually, let's go back to the ensemble graph. So the green line, you see how the green line here falls away and does become... Well, not exactly a cold, uh, a complete outlier, but definitely becomes like the coldest, one of the coldest... Um, options on the table by the end of the Jeff sits everyone. So the way the um the op does a bungee jump there <laughs> southwards uh, is not well supported by uh, the GFS ensemble. But then again, it's, it's an option. You know, it, it could come off like that. But I'd be very surprised if we got my 10 cells ice firm down to Lowland, Southern England on the 9th of April.
Anyway, it's an entertaining uh, end to the GFS 6. So. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Please share, share, and forward to your mouth. Drop a comment. Let's know what you back with. All my videos. Don't forget to our friends back down. Don't forget to subscribe to around 90 subscribers. Gets us to 19.7k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be absolutely awesome. Thanks so much, everyone. And if you uh, can afford to do so, Please do you consider making a little donation to uh, Gals Worthy Gals via our PayPal page. Uh, the link is in the description with the video. So you only need to scroll down a little bit under the video player. There you'll find the link to our PayPal page. And uh, go to the PayPal page, sign your PayPal account, donate whatever you would like to Gals Worthy and we'll give you a shout out in the videos if you want one. We can shout out your website, your YouTube channel, uh, your business. We can uh, pass on a message to a loved one, to a hasty one, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, whatever, whatever you uh, desire, Gav's here to uh, fulfil whatever you desire. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> All your desires can be fulfilled by Gav. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm so sorry, everyone. Please uh, consider a donation. That was paid for the channel, and thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Okay, GM, once more with high pressure sound or low pressure turbine off. It's getting giddier on me. It's day to fourteen days. I might be high pressure turbine sound, low pressure north, bringing the winds from flat westerly direction on Wednesday. Very low pressure deepens in the Atlantic first with Friday, bringing some uh, unsettled positions in. Temperature take a little bit of a drop at the end week into weekend as well. Later next week, hype or next weekend, I should say, hyper starts building uh, from the Atlantic. And then we head up toward day 10, well, day 8, 9, 10, and we set up a proper Scandinavian high. And uh, almost certainly we will start to bring the wind around uh, to the east from that one. So that is yet another run, also hinting at a Scandinavian high. And an east wind. Again, is that a top of response to the SSW? Or would that happen anyway, given that it's April and we get lots of Scandinavian highs and east winds in April and May? Who knows? Um, but it's interesting to ponder, isn't it? And then the ECM looking like this. So, starting off on Thursday, high pressure south, low pressure, turbo north, unsettled through Friday into weekend, cool and showery. Early next week, you find high pressure building across the uh, West Europe, bringing lots of dry weather with it. And we get to day 10. Again, we're under a ridge of high pressure, mostly dry uh, and, you know, not particularly exciting. No Scandinavian high, you'll notice, with the ECM at day 10 either. In the extended with the uh, ECM at midnight, but high pressure does eventually get to Scandinavia, and we do eventually bring in a not particularly cold easy wind by the end of the first week of April. So the ECM is going in the same direction, just takes a little bit longer uh, to get there. But we do eventually get there with those easy The high pressure of the Scandinavian high is further southwards, both centered more towards like Denmark and uh, southern Sweden and Norway. Now, consequently, the easy does have as much coal potential. It needs to be further north to really bring in the wind from like the north things uh, around that Scandinavian high. So it won't be a cold EC. That adds, adds a bit of a chill to it. Um, but uh, overall, uh, you know, the ECM is still though going in a similar direction. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from tarmedio.com. Here we go then. So going to be a lot of dry weather over the next few days. Uh, we get through to the end of next week though. And next weekend it turns wet and windy briefly as rain plunges southwards, followed by wintry showers into the north and the west. More wet weather piling through as we get through towards uh, next weekend. And then beyond that, well, high pressure really taking over again up towards day 10. These are the options on the table. Vimby ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 3rd of April. 15 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure in the Atlantic, high pressure way to the east. And so a bit of a battle going on with that. Uh, could be unsettled though in the west in particular and quite mild. We've got uh, 14 with high pressure between Iceland and Norway. Low pressure over Germany. And we'd be bringing the wind in from a colder or oh, certainly cooler, northeast direction of that. We've got 13, including the control the operation run, with high pressure just to the south, low pressure to the north, that's more uh, westerly, should be pretty mild. And then we've got 9, with high pressure dominating over Scandinavia, proper Scandinavian high, and wind in uh, from the east there with that one. So a range of options, and a lot of uncertainty at day 10. 
In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It gets to the 8th of April. 27 members of the ECM ensembles with high-pressure blocking between Iceland and Norway. Winds coming in from a cool or maybe quite cold east to north east direction. And 24, including the control of the operational run, with lower pressure towards uh, Norway, higher pressure for, uh, towards uh, the southwest of the UK and Ireland. And winds still generally sort of Atlantic-type base to be honest um so i mean it's virtually 50 50 split lots of uncertainty at day 10 and also at day 14 in terms of whether or not <coughs> so sorry everyone whether or not we're going to um get this scandy high going and whatnot Right, but not. And then finally, we've got CFSV2, Visa 500 millibar high tolerance breaking down into wheat beers. The first wheat beer takes the 24 to the 30th of March. The next week, with high pressure to the west and southwest, bringing the wind from off the Atlantic in a westerly fashion. Week Two will be the 31st of March to the 6th of April. High pressure building strongly then to the north and to the northeast. Brings the wind around to an easterly direction. Week three <laughs> will be the 7th to the 13th of April with high pressure out green and Iceland. And towards Scandinavia, winds coming in again from more of a north, uh, more of an east direction. No, it's low pressure down towards Spain. That bring a lot of wet weather to Iberia and maybe even North Africa. And then week four is the 14th to the 20th of April. High pressure blocking around green ice and low pressure underneath it. And winds again coming in from an easterly direction. That could be uh, pretty cold uh, at that point because I think that's more like a northeast north of the east, you know, for the origins of the air coming around uh, a little bit like that. So, middle of April um, turns quite cold, potentially. Before then, I don't think most eases would be especially cold. And again, notice below pressure is down towards Spain and Portugal, certainly hinting at the chance of a very wet April for southwestern Europe. We shall see. Okay, we're done. If you have enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure it's open for dear Matt. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos, content, live streams, etc. 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 And don't forget to tell friends about Gav's when ask them to subscribe to, get subscribed to for Gav. And uh we are grinding to 19.7k. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Tomorrow we're going to 6am UK weather forecast, the ECM extended uh, European Outlook, and there'll be a 10 14 day or two. So keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one though, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Monday and bye for now.